Forsake me not, O Lord my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you, right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that, by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. O oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! How inscrutable are his judgments, and how unsearchable his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor, or who has given him anything that he may be repaid? For from him, and through him, and for him, are all things. To God be glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great, great love, love, answer me. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. The Lord, Lord in your great, great love, love answers me. See you lowly ones, and be glad. You who see God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds, he spurns not. The Lord, Lord in your great, great love, love answers me. me. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall dwell in the land and own it, and the descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall inhabit it. The Lord in your great love, answer me. God. 
gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. He said to the host who invited him, When you hold a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or sisters, or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors, in case they may invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 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 Lord Lord Jesus Christ. Our gospel reminds us that everyone is called to the banquet of the Lord. No matter what region of the world you are from, no matter what time in which you live, no matter what finances you may have. And it's such a great example, again, as we look around upon the saints that surround us in pictures, that they come from around the world, that we receive all these great saints. And again, we'll work on having a saint from Antarctica. That's, I think we're missing that continent, but I believe we have all others taken care of. And because of that, we're uh, allowed, in that sense, to be free. We're allowed to say, Lord, you have chosen me, you have brought me to this light and love with you. And so we have that great freedom in Christ that we don't need to say, Lord, I can follow you, but I need to reach this level first. I need to be able to have a net income at this height, or I need to be able to do this activity or this job well. I need to be able to be a follower eventually once I'm able to do this or that. No, the Lord is calling us now. And the Lord is saying, you are capable now to follow me through my grace. And we rely on that grace to give us that help, to know that we are chosen and loved, that we continue to work our way toward the Lord and toward our neighbor. Again, in that same way as the Lord has called us, who are unworthy, who have all these problems, all these worries, anxieties, wherever it might be, so we, are, we have the knowledge that the Lord is calling others in that same way. They may have that perception to say, I can't be a follower of Christ because I'm addicted, or I can't be a follower of Christ because I have these problems, or that way, or this. And the Lord is calling them now to that banquet so that they might conform their lives to Christ as we are all called to do. But it is not something that needs to happen immediately in order to follow Christ, but it needs to be something that's immediately the call. Yes, we conform ourselves. Yes, we are reconciled with the Lord. But the Lord says that you are worthy now because I have made you worthy to be my disciples. So my dear sisters and brothers, let us continue to rely on the Lord and continue to know that we are welcome to the banquet and that we are able to follow the Lord each and every day of our lives. My dear sisters and brothers, seeking a place at Christ's table, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That the Church may make a place for the abandoned, maligned, and forgotten of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations and governments may make their needs of the poor their first priority, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the wealthy may share generously of their abundance, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and disabled may find care, support, and welcome, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may offer freely the gifts entrusted to us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Jack and Tara and for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine and in the Middle East, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be restored in the resurrection of the righteous, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. For the end of abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor souls in purgatory, especially those who have nobody to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the 
Almighty's intention and those that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Open our hearts, God of welcome, and give us a share of your generosity. May we make a place at our table, may we make a place at our tables for the lonely and the poor, the forgotten and the excluded, and so find a place with them at your eternal table. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, but become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours. May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. To your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining your holy people, he stretched out his hands and he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How may we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul VI, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Then not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O oh Lord. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gifts and for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is in Thanks be to God. Do you pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community? Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Do you pray a prayer to our mother mothers, which is on that first page of the gathering? Mother of mother, mothers, holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, when your maternity has so sanctified the state of holy motherhood, imploringly I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your all powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin. Over and needy, I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mothers, amen. Mother of Mothers, pray for us. 